Brandon from Zade Comics, artist and co-creator on Magic Cop, which is a graphic novel on Indiegogo right now, and I'm just one half of the two best looking brothers in all of comics, and today we're doing another movie poster breakdown where we take a dive into a movie poster and look at it from a graphic artist's point of view, so uh, let's see what we have to look at today. So we're going to be looking at the movie poster for the movie The Matrix, and uh, I was looking into this a little bit here I uh, had just noticed a couple of things when I was doing some image searches for these posters and we're gonna get into that in a minute but you know the fourth matrix movie is gonna be coming out uh, in 2020 I believe and that's pretty exciting so uh, let's let's take a look at this original the matrix movie poster that started it all so what we have here is really classic um, graphic design style you know we have uh, character names up at the top which is very very prevalent in the industry uh, the title here is uh, a very specialized font made specifically for the movie surely I think that's really cool um, you know this font is going to become synonymous with the movie genre uh, you know this this trilogy of movies and now you know there's gonna be uh, even more of them and uh, this font is something that is basically kind of like uh, you know the, the James Bond GoldenEye font or like even the Halo font you know there's there's something that you could have uh, that's going to be innately linked to uh, some sort of IP and here they've done that uh, very well with the this font for the Matrix uh, title and I think that it, it really does a great job of illustrating the kind of uh, digitalness of what the movie is about and you know the kind of uh, uh, imperfectness of what uh, they have going on with the storyline of the movie you know with kind of like these uh, little cross outs or the parts where you know the letters are not perfectly symmetrical you know maybe there's parts of them missing or something like that I think that's really cool and uh, all of the letters being linked together can send a message as well and uh, you know if they were designing that in here um, very very cool uh, something that's uh, also super classic but really interesting that they've done it down here um, you know they've created this tagline that goes specifically with the release date here uh, I don't exactly remember what the tagline for this movie was you know this is uh, one of I'm sure a handful of taglines uh, that went along with this but it's down here specifically with the date and you know it's being used as kind of a tie-in uh, specifically with the date you know instead of saying something like uh, the chosen one arrives or something like that which would be uh, specifically about the characters in the movie here we're talking about uh, the fight for the future begins and which is giving you a little bit about the movie but it's uh, telling you it begins on this date when the movie comes out and so they're linking that in uh, with that release date into the movie which is pretty cool too so here on the actual uh, poster besides you know this classic uh, workup that we have down here um, and we have the characters and then some of the uh, the setting of the movie being displayed in the background and uh, let's let's take a look at that from here so most prominent very important uh, that we put the main protagonist uh, in front foremost right here on the cover uh, it's a big deal we have him in a very very classic pose very strong uh, stance with the triangular foundation uh, triangles and graphic design are used a lot you know they're used to show off strength uh, very where very very wide foundation is uh, is good you know the classic graphic design trope of like an upside down triangle uh, shows like a weakness down here because uh, you know we don't have a very stable point you know but if we had a triangle like this with a huge huge stable point very very strong um, things can lean on this and that's what we have being shown here with Neo he's made up of a couple of triangles and uh, we have a lot of lines leading up toward his face 
which is really cool. You know, you can use triangles as a way of establishing power, like we have down here with the feet, with the arms. We can use those uh, bits of angles to lead into an area of interest on the poster. You know, Neo being the focal point of this poster, and uh, they did a good job of showcasing that. And they've also showcased a couple of other characters on here. In fact, uh, I didn't even remember seeing this character, thinking about it. You know, having seen the movie, we know what he does in the movie. And uh, it's interesting that they put him on the poster because uh, he's not an unforgettable part of the Matrix trilogy, something like Morpheus, Neo, and Trinity. Uh, but he's a really, really huge part of the first Matrix movie. And uh, I was surprised that I didn't remember seeing him on here. And it's probably because, um, you know, we are so influenced by the posters from The Matrix Reloaded and The Matrix Revolutions, things like that, that really only showcase three, these three characters. On this one, we have one of the villains, essentially, which is really interesting. And, uh, you know, we can't really say too much about the use of him or showcasing him being a villain here on this poster, um, because he's not like, let's say, looking in a different direction because we have Morpheus looking in a different direction. Uh, you know, we have Neo looking over here and Trinity looking over here. You know, so we have a nice bilateral line here going down this poster. But, you know, uh, the Cypher character here doesn't really get separated from the other three characters, which is really interesting here. He's not even in a different color. They're all basically in this blue shaded uh, world that they live in. Uh, which is going to bring me to my point here. I remember watching something about uh, the Matrix and how they were talking about in the real world, they were using the blue color to kind of establish the the real world and kind of like the, uh, the depressive nature of living in in reality and then when they would go into the matrix they would use green and we don't really see green here on this poster we're seeing blues and purples and then it made me question something because i remember the matrix being a lot of green and went ahead and looked for another poster which is the poster for the matrix reloaded this is like obviously the DVD cover for it, but the posters look uh, just like this, and it's green. So this made me wonder, did they go with a color scheme specifically establishing a psychological movie, something like, uh, you know, that really makes you think that's going to get your, uh, you know, your mentality into what is is happening here you're kind of going to get a lot of mystery with the matrix you know they're they're establishing kind of uh you know this new universe that's that's kind of something like that could be happening in the real world and then when we go over to the second one they change to green which is very very sci-fi you know we've seen that a lot in sci-fi movies like you, you know alien is the number one prime example you know just the green and black and did they adopt that color scheme from changing from a psychological movie over into a sci-fi genre movie? And uh, I would say, from a viewer standpoint, having seen the movies, the first one is a much more psychological movie. You know, you're you're getting the world established, you're getting the story, the deep story coming out of it, and then in the second movie there's a lot more action there's a lot more kind of like almost magical powers there's a lot more um, computer based stuff so we pretty much did go from a psychological uh, drama action movie into a uh, sci-fi action movie and this is if intentional very very good use of color here because we know uh, just in movie graphic design that the blues and purples and grays and stuff can be used to convey a psychological movie and then the greens are obviously you know your your space sci-fi type movies and it's a really really cool way of 
showcasing the use of colors on uh, something like this. You know, even in the same trilogy of movies, you can go from switching from uh, something like a psychological thriller action movie to a sci-fi thriller action movie and the posters will do it justice um, classically on here you know we have some really nice uh, use of the characters on the uh, the cover here you know really showing off their character traits so I think they've done a nice job of showing off the characters and uh, some you know, it's kind of hard to show character motivation on a poster like this unless you're showing a specific action. I think that uh, here we're just showing main character uh, showcases and, uh, you know, you have you know, your strong character here, you know, your, uh, your supporting character, and then, you know, you have uh, another character that is uh, part of the story and it's important that she's on the cover here you know we have her being showcased and as a uh, another badass character as she is in the movie and then we have who turns out to be a villain you know somebody else here on the cover but um is just being showcased as part of the team which is really interesting so uh we have that one and then we have you know the matrix reloaded and the matrix reloaded uh poster here has done just a very classic job of the uh, trio of characters in a triangular shape, uh, you know, just leading up to the focal point of being uh, the three faces on here. I know there were other posters for these movies, but uh, these ones are probably the most iconic of the posters for these two particular movies. And then on this one, we've gone to the green color scheme and we're really, really showcasing off the uh, the kind of code in the background and the code and stuff going on up here. So they really kind of made this one very formulaic and generic, especially when we go and look at the original one here. There's a lot more going on. The use of like this cloudy uh, fog in the background. We still have the code and stuff, but you know there's more of a um, questionable mystery going on with this cover or this poster instead of the Matrix Reloaded poster. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. Uh, did you catch this color change? Because uh, that was a pretty interesting thing to me. I think that was really cool. Uh, yeah, let me know how you guys feel about that. And do you agree with the color change about that being uh, a transition from the psychological movie going into just a sci-fi movie? Pretty interesting. So uh, if you guys would like to uh, get a copy of Magic Cop, please go to ZayComics.com and you guys can uh, subscribe to our newsletter there or go directly to the Indiegogo site and uh, help us crowdfund that. And I also have a Patreon, which you guys can help out uh, the videos and also my art. You guys can go on to there. It's Patreon.com slash Ninja. All of the links are going to be in the description of the video. And as always, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time with another movie poster breakdown.